Howdy guys, Kirk here with Kirk Giordano Plastics. Today what Jason and I are going to show you is how to attach molds to walls. Now they had this one here, and Gene Paletta, the fellow we're working for. Come on over here please. He wanted something a lot fancier than that, so I stole his sign by the way, right here. Paletta, Gene, Eugene Paletta. This guy is great. He said, Kirk, let's enhance the, the windows even more than what they already have originally. So that's what we're doing. What we're going to do today is we're going to place these guys on here. Now, we're going to have a surround, too, that's going to come on here. We're going to miter the corners, miter these, shove them in here. We're going to mix up polybond. We're going to set them with the polybond. And I always like to have at least two nails in every one of them. That way, while the polybond is setting and curing, it has something permanent, and I just put a little polybond over the nail hole. Anyhow, you'll see it when we get ready to install them and do the surrounds. These are going to look really cool. They're going to even bypass those, which are excellent looking. Okay, guys, I'm getting ready. Jason and I are going to cut these molds. I want to point out to you, in case you try to do this stuff yourself, it's no joke. You take off your regular wood cutting blade. You put a blade from metal, for, for masonry, what it does is it won't shred these fibers because these are cement coated and it has fibers here. Now I've done it where we've ordered molds with no fibers. It takes forever to put mesh and cement on them. If you're gonna do it, order them pre-meshed and, and uh, cemented. Another thing that's very important is have sharp blades because again, if the blade doesn't go all the way through, you need a sharp knife and if you start Having these little fibers right here come apart, man, it takes you forever to fix that stuff. Always wear safety glasses and a mask. You don't want to inhale this stuff, guys. This is about the most critical part of doing styrofoam molds. Measure twice, three times, cut once, because if you screw it up, you're gonna have to order more. All right, guys, now what I've done is I've placed my bonding agent on the back of here. This bucket right here has got some volleybond. That's what I like to attach the styrofoam with. I put it on heavy and I shook it a little bit, about an eighth of an inch in each direction, and I held it tight. Then what Jay and I did is he held one side. I placed a nail here. Now, I placed the nail because over the last few years, I've had calls and folks say, gee, I, I had a mold fall off and you can repair it, and that's no problem. But I'll usually put a nail because Usually you have to hold this for 10, 15 minutes. Who has time for that? And we have a weather barrier behind here, not only paper, but uh, a bit of thing type of membrane, which is a plastic where it seals itself. So two nails is perfect. Anyhow, I'm gonna put my second nail right here in the stud. My nails are long enough to penetrate the styrofoam, penetrate the inch of stucco, and still go into the stud about two inches. That's what I want, so here's how we do it, and if you don't hit it straight, the nail will bend. There we go. It's gonna be a little touch up here in there. And also, I gotta stick my corners in here. We're gonna go ahead and do the surrounds. All right, guys, we're gonna stick these sides in. This also determines if you're gonna if one window is going to take you an hour or half a day. Fortunately, Jay is excellent on that saw and he cuts them perfect. All I do is just slide them in there and no, I'm not going to nail these guys on. I'm just going to get it where I need it. Squeeze it in there and get all that excess. We want excess. We want it squeezed out just like that. Once we get it, we'll take a brush and hit there, hit this joint, hit around here. And that's how they attach very well. I'm using my finger, but I will grab a float in a minute. And that's it right there. All right, guys, just doing the sides now because we're both doing stuff. I was able to go up there and attach that one while Jay was mixing, but for the sake of cutting, for the sake of showing you folks how, this one is about ready to go on. Just finishing up the buttering up of it. Now the fellow who was going to do the 
do these as a great carpenter, that's what you need to have. You need to be able to be a good carpenter in order to uh, cut these miters just right. Jay was able to do it. But because we have this bumpy finish, I'm gonna have to come back here and trowel in a lot up there. Okay, now, both sides work exactly the same. So I'm gonna attach this guy here. And what I'm gonna do is just use my feet and go up once, twice, and really make it set. Just kind of wiggle it on there. That's exactly what I want. I'm gonna put a couple nails, and we're gonna do that side, and lastly, we'll show you the top. All right, guys, now the last piece just fits like a glove right inside there just like so wiggle it a couple times get a good bond wiggle it a couple times and no I don't need nails for this one because the rest is supporting it just tap it on a few times that mitered perfectly and then all right guys I'm gonna take you up close show you the styrofoam we're going to show you both of them and you can compare it to the one on the left there with just a sill but what i really want to show you too is look at that difficult texture man those guys knew what they were doing when they did that okay that was us too all right guys lastly all we're doing now is just brushing things on we put the poly bond under here we get rid of the nail holes and we just brush everything now any details we brush it on. We've got a few more windows to go, so we're going to put this camera away temp more permanently for the day. This is Kirk and Jason Giordano saying, take care, thank you for watching, and as usual, we'll see you on the next one.